Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, very quickly, we are back in action and we are kicking it off with the Junior Max Final. This is going to be a magical race and we are already underway. They all shuffled through a little bit of Archie Bargy as we see out of turns two and three. And are they okay? Yes, the drivers are okay, but a bit of debris there on the carts. But now we'll go back with the action. This is going to be a great race. William Seal, well, he was your winner in the pre-final. And he's in the lead at the moment. But right behind him, the youngest junior max driver in the field. It's Ethan Feather who moves his way into second position. Great start indeed there for the 26 cut. Great job also for the 88 cut of Kobe Gavoni in third. Hugh Butter sorted back to fourth. Luke Pink in fifth. So great start for Luke Pink. He had to... Uh, move his way forward in this after a horrible start in that pre-final. So we'll make sure we keep an eye on the 49 cut as well. We're gonna be set for a great final. They work their way down now into turn five and it's a, a quick heavy dab on the brake and then they roll off the turn, pedal to the metal, flat out as they go now through this left sweeper. And you can see they're using every inch of the track as they now come through that double right-hander once more. William Seal will be doing everything he can to try and edge away. He was fastest on track the previous lap. Let's see what he can do this time as they roll their way across. Yes, it is Luke Pink. Quick time, 41.447 for Luke Pink. New fastest time on the track. So he is on a charge in fifth position. Hugh Barter in fourth. He won a heat race yesterday. Oh, a little bit of action, a little bit further back in the pack in turn two and three. As you can just see now on screen, that is a shame for one of the cars, exhaust pipe has now been removed from that cart, so a real shame for him. But back now with your race leader, William Seal, in control at the moment. Ethan Feather in second, as you can see, a nice big slide job there. That was for, that would have been Clay Osborne made a move a little bit further back, great job for him. But on screen, back with your leader, William Seal from Ethan Feather, Kobe Gavoni, then it's Hugh Barter, Luke Pink, Another quick time for Luke Pink, 41-143. Your race leader, 41-2. Have a look at Pink. He's winding up nicely. Can he move to the inside of Barter? Yes, gets the job done. Barter does a switch back, and they are side by side, but with the momentum, Barter fights back and holds on to fourth position. So these guys are going to have a great tussle. They're always battling it out with Hugh Barter and Luke Pink. Let's see if they can now work and close the gap on your next getter, and that is... Kobe Gavoni, Ethan Feather in second position, William Seal still in control at the moment. Hard on the brakes once more into turn one. It's a tricky turn one corner. The corner drops away just when they go on the brakes. So the rear of the go-kart is on the limit, very light indeed. They now work their way into turn five. Luke Pink really hard on the brakes there. Went a little too hard there. Didn't lose much time from it though, Luke Pink. So certainly pushing his Praga machine to the limit. Trying to find a way past the 68 card of Hugh Barter. You can see them working through the double right-hander. Still a great little tussle. Still a little bit further back in the pack as they work their way to the top of the hill. We'll go through the race order. William Seal out in front, Ethan Feather second, Kobe Gavoni third, fourth of Hugh Barter, fifth Luke Pink, Hugo Simpson, sixth position, G Marco Predell in seventh, Bradley Houston in eighth position, Joshy Richmond in ninth position, in uh, tenth position, Bo Prinesti. Now Bo Prinesti, man, he was doing a magical job yesterday. He qualified on pole position. He won your heat race, a couple of heat races. Unfortunately, didn't... St Finish the pre-final, so he's had to come from the back of the pack. So we'll keep an eye on the cart number 10, Bo Prinesti, who's currently in 10th position. William Seal, quick time, 41.051. He is now quickest on track. Just talking about Bo Prinesti, he now has just done the quickest time on track with a 41.041. So a smidgen faster than your race leader, but he's got to come from 10th position. Let's see what he can do. Plenty of laps to go, 16 laps of this event. William Seal is edged away from Ethan Feather, so he's found a nice rhythm. He's just a tenth a lap quicker than Feather, which has opened up a little margin. Third position, Kobe Gavoni. Fourth, Hugh Barter. Fifth, Lou Pink. They now roll their way across the start finish line. Barter had a little moment as he come onto the straightaway. They now go hard on the brakes. Another move on the inside, cart 17 will make a move. Pradell 
and gets the job done. But an, oh, a little bit of a touch as they come out of turn one. And a big move there for the 35 cart. So he picks up a few positions. So Bradley Houston now moves his way in the seventh position. Cubata there swarfing all over the back of Kobe Gavoni in cart 88. A nice job for Kobe Gavoni. Doing a magical job indeed here, your Queenslander, supported by Auto Pro Noosa. Sitting in third position, he's moved up in the Junior Max this year. So great effort, Feather, hard on the brakes, and maybe just overshot the corner a little bit, because look at Cavoni, swarping right on the tail now, as well as Bada. Bada there had a little look to the inside, Lost a bit of momentum because he went a bit too narrow into that turn five. But look at this, Kobe Cavoni doing a magical job. Now right on the tail of second place getter. So we've got a great battle for second. Luke Pink, they're still on the end of this battle. He'll be not giving up, no doubt about that. The Queenslander in car 49. They roar their way across. Have a look at the 88 car. Can you look to the inside? Not quite close enough to do so. So it's the Cosmic Cart of Seal leading the way from another Cosmic Machine of Ethan Feather. Kobe Gavoni in the Comp Cart. Then you've got Praga in fourth. Praga fifth as well. So certainly Kobe Gavoni, he's brewing it up here. Can he find a way past Ethan Feather? He did close the gap up. We'll just let you know the times. So your race leader... Let's see what he does this time around. He comes to the top of the hill. Now roars his way across the finish line. 41-0 for William Seal. 41-1 for Ethan Feather. 41-1 also for Gavoni. 41-1 for Pink. Varda also with a 41. Bo Pernesti. Wow, he has moved into sixth position. So cart number 10. Bo Pernesti in the sixth. Great drive for this youngster. Luke Pink went to the inside on Barter. So now Luke Pink has finally found a way past the 68 machine. So a sneaky pass from Luke Pink and has moved himself into fourth position. What can he do from here? They roar past the start finish line. 11 laps remaining. So on screen, you can see this battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. They just went through that very fast right sweeper. Now a hard dab on the brake through this left-hander. They come along this short, back straight, flat out through the left sweeper they go. And you can see them using every inch of track. And then they coast through this double right-hander, very tricky part of the circuit. Then it kicks left, very important corner because they've got to climb their way to the top of the hill. And then it's flat out through this left sweeper. Down the hill they come, and they roll their way past the start finish line. Look at Feather under brakes. The rear of that go-kart, it's floating as he is trying to get every inch out of that 26 cart as they work their way through turn two and three. Keep an eye on Luke Pink. He got a great run out of turn three. Can he make the move to the inside? Yes, gets it. Luke Pink now moves into third, but Cavoni tries to do a switchback. They're side by side. Who's going to yield? And Pink had to yield as he was on the outside. And now sideways, oh, Pink on the outside. Barter's going to capitalize on this, and he does so. So Hugh Barter says thank you very much and slots back into fourth position. So Luke Pink was ready to battle for third, and one little hiccup has cost him dearly because he's now moved back to fifth position. So it's William Seal in control from Ethan Feather still now. In a, after this big battle, Feather's in a comfortable second. He had some pressure on him a moment ago, but one little move has now gave him a nice breathing space. He's sitting in second. He's doing some great times, Ethan Feather. 41-177. Cavoni at the moment, 42-0, obviously because of that tussle. So he's lapping around about a 41-0 as well normally. Hugh Butter fourth, Luke Pink fifth, Bo Prinesti sixth position. Oh, quick time. A new quick time for Kobe Cavoni. Fastest on track, a 40.922. So Kobe Cavoni in third position has just done a new quick time. And that just might allow him to maybe 
edge away from Barter. But then as I look at the times, Hugh Barter just did a personal best. He also did a 40.9, but it's a 9.74. Luke Pink lost a bit of momentum. He's back to a 41.0. So let's see if he can recover. Probably lost of, uh, a little bit of time, a fair bit of mojo uh, rubber on the outside of the track. He would have picked up from that move. That's why he's lost time. But look at the 88 card. He is getting quicker each lap. He roars his way around this 966 meter circuit, 10 corners. And Kobe Cavoni, 40.880. So your top four drivers just did a personal best time. Cavoni though in third had just set a new quick time, fastest time on the track. He's sitting in third position. Seal comes across the line, the 95 car. He's got a blue plate that indicates he's won one of the uh, championship rounds here in the past. And so can he keep that blue plate on the cart? Well, he's looking in control at the moment. Six laps remaining in this event. Long race indeed, as you can see, the field has started to spread out a little. Luke Pink unable to contest now. He's just lost that momentum. He was looking to strike for third, but now he's sitting in a comfortable fifth position. Seal comes across the line with a new quick time. Cavoni replies with another quick time. So Cavoni's still holding the fastest lap on track at the moment. Bo Prinesti there. He's sitting at a 40.9 at the moment in a comfortable sixth position. Great battle on the hands as well. A little bit further back in the pack, the five cart, Luke Thomas, tussling it out at the moment and unable to make a pass on the 24 cart. So Macy doing a great job to hold out Luke Thomas. So that's a bit of action a bit further back in the pack. Obviously those guys got tangled up at the start of the race. That's why they're a little bit further back than they would have liked. Hugh Barter just sets a new quick time of a 40.827. Hugh Barter, he's sitting on the tail. Well, just a couple of cart lengths, I must say, back from uh, the Kobe Cavoni. But just as I said earlier, Feather had a comfortable second position. Third and fourth, Kobe Cavoni and Hugh Barter, they are edging closer and closer. Four laps remaining. And we could maybe see a battle on our hands for second. So sit tight here. Ethan Feather holding on. He's a youngster. He's just 12 years of age, doing a magical job of the motor. He has had 18 grueling laps around this circuit. Can he hang on? He looks over his shoulder, hard on the brakes as they go into turn one. Now approaching turn two and three. So they're on screen through that back straightaway. That's that fast left they've just come out of. And now into the double right. This is going to be interesting to see the times because Kobe Cavoni, he's been doing some quick times and now getting a nice little slipstream from Feather. We could see a blistering time. What comes up on the screen? It's a 40.90, so not quite as quick as he's done previously, but enough to just edge that little closer. Barta, he's sitting there in fourth position, just waiting for Cavoni to pass. Oh, Cavoni explodes out of turn three. And that allows him to get that little closer to Ethan Feather. And he just edged away from Hugh Barta there a little. So a nice job from Kobe Cavoni. We're coming down now with ready to see two laps remaining of this event. Seal comes across the line. Super effort for William Seal, doing a great job indeed. Ethan Feather still holding on to second. Cavoni in third, Barter in fourth, Luke Pink fifth, Bo Pernesti in sixth, Josh Richmond in the seventh, Clay Osborne eighth, Houston in ninth, Tyson Jennings now moves into 10th position ahead of Pradell. We are get ready to see 
and I think we are getting ready to see the checkered flag is about to come out. Well, what a magical drive for this man. Put your hands together for William Seal takes the win here in a magical drive for Ethan Feather to take second. Kobe Gavoni, great drive for Kobe to take third. Hugh Barter finishing in fourth with a quick time. Fifth of Luke Pink, great fight back for Bo Pernesti to finish in sixth position. Joshy Richmond in seventh, Clay Osborne eighth. Bradley Houston in ninth position, 10th for Tyson Jennings, Jared Hughes, your Queenslander, finishing in 11th, Jean Marco finishing in 12th, M Macy Caladay there in 13th, Luke Thomas 14th, 15th position, cart number three of Lewis Barger, and then we have unfortunate Lewis, uh, Hugo Simpson and Sebastian Ruse were out of this final race. Well, magical effort from William Seal got to the lead and controlled it very well indeed. Well done, my man. And that will wrap up the final for the Junior Max, supported by Electro Industries. Huge thanks for their support as well. Well, there'll be a very youngster who will be overjoyed with that podium finish. Ethan Feather and, of course, great job also for your third-place getter as well in that great Junior Max final.